Hey, old school. You all right? Not at all. Mind if I join you? I really don't have time. So what's going on? Really? Computer problems? Ugh. Oof. My life is so hard. Every year I start from scratch to teach the same thing over and over like a broken... Hey, it, it doesn't have to be like that. You are clearly not a teacher. What makes you say that? It's August and you're calm. Well, I wouldn't say I'm calm. I'm excited to see what my kids are thinking about. You have kids? That's nice. No, I mean students. How long have you been teaching? Ten years, but I'm new to the district. Sure you're not new to the planet? I'm sorry. That was rude. I'm just on edge. Depressed. Frustrated. Burned out. Bored. Unfulfilled and unconvinced. I mean, you? A teacher? Well, really I think of myself more as a learner. I'm way more interested in questions than answers. The singular focus in my classroom is thinking. Yeah, well, here we have a singular focus too. It's called testing. You want to teach kids how to take a test? Or would you rather teach them how their mind works? What module is that? No module, just human. When humans explore and understand how their mind works, they're empowered. I can barely keep my students from drowning in their own drool half the time. I, I feel like the least powerful person in their lives. And I have to teach them stuff that they don't care about. You're, you're acting like I have a choice. You do have a choice, and so do your students. A choice to either be strategically compliant or not to game the system or fall through the cracks. I mean, think about it. What if being strategically compliant was the opposite of what students get rewarded for? What if we measured things like creativity, character, and compassion? Think about that. Are you going to grant me three wishes or something? There is no time to think. There's too much to do. There is nothing in these standards or the curricula about creativity or character or compassion for that matter. If my students don't know the answers, they fail, and so do I. So if I think about anything, it's that. Call it strategic compliance or whatever you want. Let me just show you a lesson that I prepared for the first day of school. Looks curious. This is a meta map. This lesson happens to be about social movements, but you could make it about anything at all. It always has the same underlying structure, so you can focus on what's important, thinking. Like how thinking helps us structure information to give it meaning. Not just what to think, but how to think. More like a big picture. Yes. It's so human. So unlike the mind maps I've tried to use before, I mean, they always box my students' thinking into the same structure. Every mind map turns out the same, just a big incoherent splat of thinking errors. Uh, I'd show you one, but... Meta maps are based on how we humans think. So they make us more aware of how we understand stuff. Metamaps? Wait. What about memorizing? Memorizing facts? That doesn't build knowledge. That's just storing information. It's only temporary. Having an awareness of how our own mind works? That's permanent. Hmm. Does it help with behavior and interpersonal relationships, too? It definitely does. Emotional intelligence, compassion, character, all of that. Wait, but 
How does it prepare our students for the real world? I mean, what about our economy? The ability to make distinctions, create strong relationships, to see problems from a different perspective and understand systems, all these things are crucial in all areas of life. No matter what future economy there is, when we get kids thinking about how their mind works, they can thrive in any situation. Are you a unicorn? <laughs> Are you hiding a rainbow here or somewhere? <laughs> Seriously, no unicorns or fairy dust or rubbing a lamp. Well, you've got my attention. Looks like you could use a fresh cup of coffee. Yeah, why not? <laughs>